today the topic of discussion is binary search so after linear search we are going to discuss binary search very clearly let's start what is binary search definition says binary search is the fast search algorithm with runtime complexity of order of log n whereas the complexity of linear search is order of n this search algorithm works on the principle of divide and conquer so let's understand what the definition is trying to say the definition is saying if i talk about binary search if i talk about binary search then complexity is order of log n and if i talk about linear search then the complexity is order of n fine so suppose there are suppose there are 1024 element 1024 element in an array and you need to search an array so if you apply linear search then number of time you may have to search in worst case it could be 1024 it could be one because it might be possible the element you are searching is at the last position then total number of comparison you will made is 1024 but what if the I'm using it, I'm searching it using binary search. Then what I'll do, I'll simply put log base 2 1024. This I can write is log base 2 2 ki power 10 2 to the power 10 is 1024. This I can write is 10 log 2 2 and log 2 2 is what 1. Then finally I get 10. So see the see the comparison. In case of linear search, you might require 1024 comparison, but in case of binary search, you only require maximum 10 comparison. Within a 10 comparison, you will be able to justify that whether the element exists or element do not exist. So this was a real, real and exact word for saying why this binary search is fast. Why this binary search is fast okay let let me move further binary search looks for a particular item by comparing the middlemost item of the collection what binary search do it just compare the middle element first of all it's just compare the middle element okay if the match occurs the then the index of the item is returned if the match occurs, then the index of the item is written so what exactly happens let me let me show you uh, let me show you the example of book okay see the book if your teacher asks you to open a book and open a page number one zero, say your teacher asks you to open the page number two zero two one zero, and you just open a book and the page you opened is two one zero. What is that? Your search is complete now. Then you finally say yes, ma'am. What do you want to? What do you want me to search? But what happened? Let's. If the middle item is greater than the item, then the item is searched in the sub array to the left of the middle but suppose your teacher asked you to search page number 180 and you opened the page number 210 so this element which you need to search is less than 210 because middle element is now greater then you search on which part left part you search on left part of the book but what if your teacher asked you to search page number 273 and when you open the middle of the page you found it 210 then what your search is your search will on the right side of the middle then you will search your search area will be this much okay so this is what i'm trying to tell you if the middle item is greater than the item then the item to be searched in the sub array to the left of the middle this is what i told you otherwise the item is searched for the sub array to the right of the middle this is what i told you okay this process continues on the sub array and you keep on doing this process on the sub array as well as, as well until the size of the sub array reduces to zero till when you just keep on searching with the middle element unless and until you particular you find that element till the size of the array becomes zero you just keep on searching that element okay and one important part is that this is work on the principle of divide and conquer this work on the principle of divide and conquer this is what you are you are seeing that we are dividing we are dividing an array we are dividing an array okay prerequisite very important part prerequisite of binary search for a binary search to work it is mandatory for the target array to be sorted very important very important and very important by but this is very important by for a binary search the element needs to be sorted this is the very important question asked in interview linear search and binary search difference linear search element can be sorted and cannot be sorted not sorted everything is fine but in case of binary search the element should be sorted because if i'm taking an example of book 
book is always sorted book is always sorted book page number start from 1 and it goes whatever uh, it could be 500 600 but book is always sorted so uh, on which we apply a binary search we generally apply a binary search on book so how, why we are able to apply the binary search on the book just because book is sorted so just make it sure that if you need to apply a binary search then the prerequisite is that the that it is mandatory that, that that the target array should be sorted okay let me move further and see the example list a in which data is to be searched this is the list having 10 element from 1 to 90 all is sorted and you need to search suppose that data you need to search is 57 you need to search the 57 element what you will do now see the process the upper and lower bound are minimum and maximum this a0 is the minimum and a9 is the maximum that is minimum contains 0 and maximum contain 9 okay now we calculate the mid value now we calculate the mid value okay so mid value is what minimum plus maximum by 2 minimum is 0 maximum is 9 by 2 is what 4 so the mid element is 4 the midpoint is pointing the 4 now we compare the mid with 57 since 57 is greater 57 is greater than 11 at 11 11 is less than 57 because 57 is greater lower bound minimum is pointed so what we'll do we'll point our we'll search our in the right part okay then minimum becomes a5 okay now minimum is 5 and maximum is 9 now we again calculate mid mid minimum plus maximum 5 plus 9 by 2 is what 7 the mid is 7 now we again compare 57 with 25 okay 27 since 27 mid element is smaller since mid element is a smaller 25 is less than 57 so we'll move our minimum again next we'll point minimum to the next position we will we'll calculate the mid position again we calculate the mid position here minimum is 8 minimum is 8 and maximum is 9 so mid becomes 8 now mid value is 8 okay now we compare mid with 57 yes now mid is equal to 57 search is successful 57 is found okay fine so this was animation let let me tell you the the algorithm of binary search let me show you the algorithm of binary search okay let's start with the algorithm of binary search okay so what we are actually doing is that we set beginning is equal to lower bound end is equal to upper bound and position is equal to one so what we are setting is that we set beginning a variable beginning with lower bound variable end with upper bound and position with minus one okay let me tell you this is an array and the element which we need to search is 44 in a given array which is sorted we need to search 44 let me make an array this is first this is second this is third let me start with zero then then zero one two three four and five in zero position two is there then 13 is there then 24 is there then 30 is there then 44 is there and then 53 okay now what we did here that we said beginning is equal to lower bound so this is the beginning b i'm pointing it is big and this is end end is pointing the five fifth okay okay and position is minus one this position is position is minus one fine okay we calculate mid mid is what beginning plus end by two mid is what we calculate mid i am pointing i am re representing mid by m mid is beginning plus end by two what is beginning beginning is zero b is pointing to zero end is what five and by two zero plus five by two is two point five is two so mid is two so mid is what mid is pointing to this position okay fine okay now come here if mid is equal to when if array come mid if array mid array mid array mid is 2 if array 2 array 2 is what 24 array 2 is what 24 is equal to val no this is not equal to val because val is 44 and array 2 is 24 no this is not equal okay uh, if it is not equal then we'll go in else if part is array mid greater than well array mid is what 24 it's not greater we'll go in else part we'll set what beginning is equal to mid plus one we'll set what beginning is equal to mid plus one and this is exactly true because the element which we are searching right now is greater than middle value this is the middle value is greater than middle value then our search will be what from this place to this this place what will change and the same what will change beginning will change what will beginning will be now beginning will be mid plus one beginning will be mid plus one 
mid beginning will be mid plus one what is mid two two what is mid two two plus one is three now beginning will point here fine now beginning will point here now the current beginning will be i'm writing beginning over here okay fine okay what i'll do i'll i'll come out of if loop i'll come out of loop no i'll not come out of loop i'll again i'll again go to the loop and i'll again check is beginning less than end yes beginning is three and at end is five five these are indexes index value is beginning yes condition becomes true what we'll do we'll again calculate beginning plus end by two now we'll calculate again beginning what is beginning now beginning is now three what is end end is five by two three plus five by two is what eight eight by two is what four now middle value is four we come over here is array mid what is mid now let me what is mid mid is pointing to this position this mid is array mid array mid is what 44 is array mid is equal to well yes now array mid array mid is equal to well yes fine array mid is equal to well then what set position is equal to mid so now position which was minus one will be equal to mid what is mid fourth position fine we now what it says go to step six i'll go to step uh, uh, i'll no uh, i'll what i'll do i'll make position is equal to mid that position is four i'll print position i'll print position i'll print i'll print position that is i'll print four so what mean what is the meaning of four that uh, yes i have found the element and which is at fourth position and then go to step six what is the step six exit now our job is over okay if you are unable to understood what i'm trying to tell you let me give you one more example okay let me give you one more example okay let me give you one more example let me rub all these things okay let me rub all these things and let me give you one more example let me rub this now you have an array this now you want let me rub all these things let me rub all this thing for you and make you again understand what i'm trying to tell you now suppose you want to search an element which is not in which is not in the list suppose you want to search 25 i'm i'm, I'm what I'm, I'm i'm canceling i'm just canceling this i'm i am just canceling it now value i need to search is 25 fine value i need to search is 25 since you are exactly watching that 25 is not there then will this algo work let 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 us check again okay okay set beginning is equal to lower bound so what i am doing i am setting beginning beginning is equal to lower bound is zero and is equal to upper bound and is equal to this i am writing position position is equal to what minus one fine i didn't go to the step two repeat step three and four i need to step repeat step three and four while beginning is less than end since beginning value is what zero and end is what five yes beginning is less than end condition becomes true i'll go inside and i'll repeat step three and four what i'll do i'll calculate mid what is mid what is mid mid is beginning beginning is what zero what is end five by two is what 2.5 and middle integer value of 2.5 is two okay so mid is two now i compare is array mid is array two is equal to well array two what is mid this this is mid value this is mid value is array to this value equal to val what is there in val 25 now no it's not equal it's not equal so we'll not execute if statement i'll go in else if statement is array mid this is 24 is greater than val no no array mid is 24 it's not greater than 25 so i'll go it in else part and what i'll do i'll put beginning i'll i'll again initialize beginning with mid plus one this is what i alluded so what becomes beginning mid plus one what is mid two two plus one becomes Three. so beginning is now pointing to three hope you understood what i'm trying to tell you i'll 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 go out of f loop but i will not go out of end loop why because i have to see the condition i'll again go to step two and i'll see that is beginning now beginning is three is three less than five yes three is less than five condition again become two now what i'll do i'll see that i'll again calculate mid value mid is what beginning plus end by two what is beginning now three and is five 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 by 2 is 4, fine, 8 by 2 is 4, fine, I'll check, uh, mid is now 5, mid is now 4, I am pointing mid to 4, mid is pointing to this side, index of mid is 4 and pointing to 44, okay, I'll see that is array mid is equal to well, what is array mid is 44, array mid is now 44, 
okay is equal to val val is 25 no it's not equal i'll see if array mid is greater than array mid is 25 array mid is 44 array mid is greater than val yes array mid is 44 and it is greater than val 25 yes, it's great. what i'll do i'll put end is equal to mid minus 1 what i'll put i'll change value of end now this end become mid minus 1 what is mid 4 then end become mid 4 minus 1 and become 3 so now end and beginning both are pointing to what both are pointing to third third value okay fine okay good now again i'll do what again i'll do uh, okay this is mid minus 1 i'll i'll ex I have already executed else if i'll go out of if loop okay and what i'll do i'll again i'll again go up i'll again go up and see that is beginning less than end beginning is 3 but end has become 3 it's not less than but it's equal to condition again becomes true now condition is again true i'll again calculate mid mid is what beginning plus end by 2 3 plus 3 by 2 3 plus 3 by 2 is what 6 6 by 2 is what 3 fine i'll again check is array mid what is array mid now what is mid mid is also pointing to third location mid is now again pointing uh, is also pointing all the three are pointing to the third location is array mid is array mid that is 30 is equal to val no 25 is not equal to val. i'll go in else statement is array mid greater than val no array mid is 30 is uh, yes yes is array mid array mid is what 30 is greater yes it's greater than val its condition becomes true what i'll do i'll put end is equal to mid minus one what is end and is currently end is three i'll put mid minus one that is two now end comes from this place mid is now here but end comes here this become end okay and what i'll do i'll again come out of loop okay and again i'll check the loop now beginning is three but end has become end has become two is beginning less than end no now beginning is not less than end so what happened will the condition becomes false the moment condition becomes false i'll come out of the loop and what is the loop end of loop this line i'll come out of this loop i'll see if position equal to minus one yes position remained minus one then what i'll do value is not present in an array so what a beautiful answer it is now as you have seen 25 is not in the array okay 